Hello everyone, my name is Desmond. A few episodes ago, you have learned about how you can actually project wirelessly using absent eye projection with your smart devices or PC. In today's episode, we will be introducing Absent Software Suite to you, targeting specifically on absent projector management software. We will explain to you the key benefits of this software. Absent has five sets of software targeted for every projection requirement. Absent Eye Projection As we have previously explained, this is a software that can be used on both iOS and Android smart devices and your PCs as well. This is the most basic software for your wireless projection needs. Absent Content Manager This software is the most ideal and affordable choice for your digital signage solution. You can easily convert existing contents for easy playback on your absent projectors. You can even make use of the inbuilt filters and templates to create interesting playback contents for your logos or products. Absent Professional 2 Targeted at specific high brightness laser projectors, this set of applications help designers and installers to set up projectors over network in a breeze. You can activate the inbuilt color calibration function for your edge blending applications and even use it for geometric correction over the network. Absent interactive tools and driver. If you have purchased one of our interactive projectors, this should be the software that you should be downloading. Absent Easy Interactive Tools is for annotation and control of interactive projector via your fingers or interactive pens. And if you were to use the projector for dual screen interactivity or using Mac OS or PC interactivity, do not forget to download the Absent Easy Interactive Driver as well. Absent Projector Management This software is very ideal for users such as IT administrators who wish to control and monitor the installed projectors. It is a free to download application with no licensing required. Before we start using each of the respective software, it is important that we understand bandwidth and firewall, as this affects the performance of the software. What is bandwidth? Bandwidth is the amount of information that can be transmitted at a given time and is usually measured in bits per second. So, why is it important? Bandwidth can actually affect the speed or quality of the information being transmitted. Bandwidth requirement differs depending on the environment, such as speed of the source device, speed of network, and data size that is actually being transmitted. Usually, a network projection from a computer requires a maximum of 15 Mbps bandwidth to transmit both image and sound. So as long as you have sufficient bandwidth within your network, your wireless projection will be seamless. However, another checkpoint is also your firewall. Most organizations have blocked your firewall with the intent to control the incoming and outgoing network traffic based on an applied rule set. However, firewall can restrict access to your projectors or other AV devices. If your users would like to request the incoming and outgoing port number of our projectors, it will be port 3620, 3621 and 3629. Now that you have checked that you have enough bandwidth and unblocked your firewall to allow access on absent projectors, you are ready to download absent projector management software. As mentioned previously, unlike other competitors, absent offers this software for free. You can simply download it through our website. Absent projector management software allows you to keep an eye on multiple projectors simultaneously via network connection. Users can actually register up to 2,000 projectors and it is also able to monitor competitor projectors via PJ Link. Customized email notification function also alerts you by email if the projector is not functioning properly or needs your attention even when you're not in the application. However, do note that this currently only works with Windows 7, 8.1, 10 onwards. In today's step-by-step -step guide, we will show you how to register and group your projectors for easier management and control. Firstly, select the application. On the detailed list view page, you will be able to monitor all the projectors that's currently connected to your network. If yours happen to be a competitor model that supports PJ Link, click on Search for projectors in PJ Link.
In this interface, you can do simple controlling of your projectors, such as to power on or off the machine. AV mute or change its source. This gives you better control of the projector just in case if you lose your remote control. Before you group the projectors, it is recommended to rename the projectors by right-clicking on the projector, select Property. Under the Display Name box, you can type in your desired display name for easier recognition. You can also choose to change the icon of the projector to classify the type of projector that you're using, whether if it's a short throw or a ceiling-mounted projector. Once you're done, click on OK. Now you're ready to group them. Grouping them helps you to identify the location of the projectors and better manage them. In order to create a group, firstly, select on the projectors from the list that you want to group them together. After doing so, right-click, select on Property. Now, you can choose to create your group name by clicking on the Select button. Click on New, then key in your desired display name and choose your icons. Click on Register when completed. You can also choose to key in the description and input the monitor password if you have enabled this setting on the projector. Upon completion, click OK. You can now see the groupings on the left side of the panel. The application allows you to send customized notification to the IT administrators if you are not logged on to the software to notice the errors or warnings being flagged up by your projector. Users can send alert to targeted email address every time a notification event is being triggered. You can simply do so by first going to the Tool tab, select Environment Setup and go to the Mail tab. Select on Use Email Notification System. Key in all the necessary mail server settings wherever necessary. Click on Add. Key in your targeted email address. Select the type of notification you would like to receive. You can actually select more than one. Once you're done, click on OK. You can click on Test Email and click on OK to activate all the settings. Once you're done, you'll be able to receive notification if there are any warning or errors indicated by the projector. In order to better manage your projectors and ensure no projectors are turned on overnight, you can choose to schedule timer settings on the projector. First, select on projectors you want to set a timer on. Right-click, Property. Go to Schedule tab. Select your desired date. Click on Add. A Create Schedule dialog box will actually pop up. If you want this to be a recurring schedule, you can actually choose your options under the Repeat column. Key in your desired date or time settings. You can even select the settings for just weekdays instead of weekends too. Choose the type of control you want this scheduler to perform, such as to power on off, AV mute, message broadcast or even perform source change. These are extremely useful when it comes to your digital signage applications, office or even school environment control. Once you're done, click on OK. And you'll be able to see the schedule that you have set previously on the box below. Lastly, I'm going to show you how do you do message broadcasting using multiple projectors via network. This is extremely useful when you want to spread your information quickly either on a schedule or ad hoc basis. Firstly, select on the tool tab above. Select Message Broadcasting. You can choose to broadcast a message to a group or individual projectors. If you would like to upload an image as the broadcast content, you can choose it by clicking on the File option. However, if you like to broadcast a series of images, you can do so by selecting on the Folder option. But if your broadcast message is just solely text, you can key your text into the text box and even changing your font size and colors. You can even select how long you want this message to be actually projected. Once ready, simply click on Start. And end when you're done. 
Message broadcast can also be done on a scheduled basis using the same set of guidelines as actually shown earlier on. As you can see, this is a very simple and easy to use software that lessens the workload of IT administrators to better manage projectors to minimize time required on maintenance and checks. This can also help you to plan in advance on when to replace your lamps to avoid being caught by surprise. I hope you find these tools very useful.